Hey what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial in today's tutorial i will show you how to shut object in Octavit. so let's get started okay guys i'm gonna start with the new composition and let's go with this place order and i'm gonna go with fullest resolution 24 frames per second and 10 seconds duration hit ok you guys can just drag and drop your logo here or type anything you want i'm gonna type shut object so we have cool text now i will align it using the line tool select this text layer and then press s to scale it up something like this you guys can just replace this text with your logo okay now i'm gonna just create a new composition and let's go with this logo composite hit okay this is where i will add a text you guys can download this text from link in the description okay and i'm gonna just use this crunch text just drag and drop here and also drag and drop your placeholder right here i'm gonna pick with this to the placeholder like that now we will get this shutter object with this crunch texture i'm gonna just select this crunch texture and then press s to scale it down now let's give some animation to this texture select this texture and press p and then press shift r to also give the rotation now i'm gonna create a keyframe in the zero second let's go to it from forward and give some random rotation and the placement like this i will fast forward this step okay okay after three second mark i'm gonna copy press keyframes so just select this and then press ctrl c and ctrl v to paste it i'm gonna add a loop out expression hold alt and click on this stopwatch icon and then type loop out expression just select this right click and copy expression only go rotation and then press ctrl v to paste it now if you check this as you can see now we have this animated text okay perfect now we are done with the logo composite i'm gonna just select this new one and i'm gonna call this shutter object and hit ok just bring it here now just drag and drop your logo composite here okay let's select this and then go to effect and preset if you don't see effect and preset go to windows and find this effect and preset and then search for tint i'm gonna double click and set the map white to any color you like i'm gonna go with this green color something like that let's go to effect and preset and search for shatter this is the effect that we are going to use now double click now go to effect control and set the view to render and go to shapes and i'm gonna go with glass you guys can just play with this preset now if you go through the timeline as you can see we need to do some adjustment and let's set the repetition to maybe 15 something like that now open the force one press reduce the strength to maybe two yeah looks good i will just also play with the radius maybe 0 0.3 now let's open the force two and give the strength three now go to physics and set the tumble axis to none and gravity direction to zero gravity to zero now it will not go down as you can see now i think it's a little bit too powerful so i'm gonna just set the viscosity to 0 0.6 like that and i think it looks pretty good you can also just play with the repetition maybe i will go with 10. now let's close this up and now go to effect and preset and search for levels i'm gonna just increase the levels of this layer now let's drag this slider here so it will give some brightness values something like that now i'm gonna just duplicate this one let's go to two second mark and just drag this one here and i will select this below layer and just drag it here so we have this text oh by the way in the below layer make sure you delete the shutter so it will keep the text as it is now if you check the animation as you can see if you things take longer and you can just drag it here like that make sure you drag the low layer as well okay perfect now let's go to project panel and i have this dark concrete text just drag and drop here and i'm gonna just add a curve effect dark it out a bit something like that let's also give some animation to this texture just like before i'm gonna press p and then over shift and then r and i'm gonna go to zero second and create a keyframe let's go to 12 frame forward and give some random rotation and uh, positions i will speed this up process just copy press two keyframes and then select all and then press ctrl all click to turn this into all keyframe now let's also add loop out expression i'm gonna hold alt and then click let's type loop out and copy this to this rotation as well like that now 
yeah looks pretty good now let's add some effect i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer and let's go these effects i have this quick chromatic aberration effect you guys can download this for free from the link in the description okay it's from plugin everything i'm gonna just apply this to this effects layer now let's increase the transform effect bit to give that chromatic aberration effect i'm gonna just animate the hue shift now let's go to one second mark and create a keyframe for the hue shift and go to maybe three seconds and set this to 60 rotation like that i'm gonna just press n on my keyboard to in the composition here now if you check the animation as you can see it like a uh, earthquake you guys can just play with this positions you can also increase the rotations maybe 120 i think it's too much let's go with 70 or you can just add a vehicle expression i'm not going to do that this is much easier okay and uh, yeah you can also give some rotations if you want now let's add a curve effect let's give some color effects like this you can also add a glow and just not too much something like this should work yeah we can also add some drop shadow effect go set a drop shadow double click and something like that okay it will add some realism i'm gonna just copy this ctrl c and go to top layer and then press ctrl v to paste it it will darken the text a little bit yeah i think i like this we have an arrow we can fix this easily and just go here and give a random position like that and yeah that's will fix it and that's how you create this shadow object effect in optimate i hope you guys enjoy this if you have any question, please let me know. As always, thank you so much for the pretty support. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a great day.